This is Shen Yun. Their website says Shen Yun is 5,000 years of civilization reborn. But what the f does that actually mean? According to the Chinese Communist Party, Shen Yun is a cult whose shows are propaganda hiding in plain sight. Rich coming from the CCP, but to be fair, Shen Yun is put on by Falun Gong, whose logo is not one, but five. Well, you take a look. More on them later. And this is me, trying to decide if I should buy tickets to the show. Because like you, I've been bombarded by their billboards, pamphlets, and mailers for years now. And I guess I'm a little curious. So what is Shen Yun really? Why is it called a giant propaganda machine? Why does this Chinese dance show perform in every country except for China? Why is there a scene in the show where the CCP harvests organs from a dancer? Should I buy those tickets? Should you buy tickets? After all, Academy Award winner Kate Blanchett says this show is exquisitely beautiful. I'm intrigued. I kind of want to go to this thing. I'm one of the millions of people where the advertisements worked. So I did what anyone might do and spent four days reading every article I could find on Shen Yun, Falun Gong, and the CCP. I went down rabbit holes on their finances, persecutions, and just why those billboards keep showing up year after year. Then I spent another seven days distilling that info and making this video. So hit that thumbs up and listen to this. One of the craziest unknown facts about Shen Yun is just how much money they make. They have eight dance companies that tour for over six months in 130 cities every single year. They perform at places like the Lincoln Center in Manhattan, the Kennedy Center in DC, the London Coliseum, and this place behind me here in Berkeley, which is kind of shocking because as you'll see later, Berkeley and Shen Yun are on complete opposite ends of the political spectrum. Cal students might be pretty angry if they found out about Shen Yun and performing on their campus. All told, they sell between 1.5 and 4 million tickets a year. That's a lot of people. It means their revenue is somewhere between 150 and 600 million dollars every year. And they don't release these numbers publicly, but it's not hard to estimate based on numbers that anyone can find. Shen Yun exists to spread the teachings of new religious movement Falun Gong. And this is where things start to get really weird. Now I know, most religious and political groups have some really weird aspects. Falun Gong? take some of that to a new level. They started in 1992, three years after the Tiananmen Square massacre. They quickly gained millions of followers worldwide, and by 1999, the CCP was violently suppressing their members. They don't believe in evolution. They also believe that races will be separated in heaven, and that God plans to eliminate all gay populations. They think sickness is based on karma, and modern medicine is just used to control people. And these uncommon beliefs make it really easy for the CCP to get away with extreme violence against this group. We'll talk more about that later. Their core teachings center around specific meditations, exercises, and improving your karma to virtue ratio. Pro tip, if you engage in any of those things I mentioned before, that will hurt your ratio. Like most religions and political groups that have complicated views, they do a lot of good as well. Falun Gong promotes good deeds and community ties amongst their members. They are entirely nonviolent and protest peacefully. Plus, they put on quite a show. If you want to know how Falun Gong sees the modern world, you're in luck. They run a newspaper called the Epic Times. The newspaper and their website are a decidedly right-wing take on modern events. They recently released a documentary for premium subscribers called The Real Story of January 6th. They've been accused of spreading far-right conspiracies and COVID misinformation. The paper has seen revenues soar in recent years. Tax documents show a 685% increase from 2019 to 2021. That year they brought in $122 million. Imagine what that might be today. No one really knows where this money comes from, but the Epic Times says it comes from subscriber fees, which could be true. Because according to NBC, it's the fourth largest newspaper in the country by subscriber count. Still, the accounting doesn't quite match. At the same time, Falun Gong has been persecuted ruthlessly by the Chinese government. The Epic Times, Falun Gong, and Shen Yun are all vehemently opposed to the current political climate in China. That comes up over and over in their teachings, their media, and the Shen Yun show itself. Which is why the Chinese Communist Party hates Shen Yun. There's only one country in the world where Shen Yun is not allowed to perform. Any guesses? Yup. It's China. That may seem odd for a show dedicated to celebrating Chinese history, but China does not support freedom of speech. 
especially not speech that's critical of the government. It's estimated that hundreds of thousands of Falun Gong members are imprisoned in China right now. Violence against the group by the government is extremely common. But that still doesn't tell us what Shen Yun actually is. Shen Yun is, at its core, a Chinese dance show. It translates to the beauty of divine beings dancing. Though you may have already guessed that from their advertisements. Speaking of those advertisements, they're all paid for by the local chapters. So are venue rentals like the one behind me and anything else associated with putting on the show. All profit is sent back to Shen Yun and likely makes its way to this guy, the founder of Falun Gong. Now there's a lot more to know about this guy, but Falun Gong is extremely aggressive when it comes to editing Wikipedia pages about the group. So if you're curious, don't start there. The punchline is he's now super wealthy and lives on a 400 plus acre compound in New York where because it's a religion, he doesn't pay any taxes. They are super secretive about this compound and locals there aren't really pleased with it. Here are some of the things you might see and hear at the show. Songs with lyrics that translate to Atheism and evolution are deadly ideas. Modern trends destroy what make us human. Scenes where troubled youth are indicated by two men holding hands. A large-scale group dance based on centuries-old Chinese tradition. According to Shen Yun, these traditions are now banned in China, but they did inspire modern-day ballet and gymnastics. Quick side note, the woman who literally wrote the book on Chinese dance was asked about this for a New Yorker article and said that all of those claims are completely untrue. And speaking of that dance, if you're lucky, you might see a number where a Falun Gong practitioner is captured by the CCP and undergoes forced organ harvesting, a practice so common that you can buy a print called Organ Crimes depicting this act at ShenYunCollections.com. Shen Yun Collections is of course located on that 400 acre compound we talked about earlier. It's right next to the college run by Falun Gong, but that's another story. Let's just say they didn't make my college ranking. On a positive note, the show does look really cool. If you're into dancing stunts and bright colors, you'll probably really like it. As long as you're not epileptic and can look past the blatant propaganda, anti-feminism, homophobia, anti-evolution, and all the rest. Is it a cult? Well... They may push some pretty outlandish ideas, but they have absolutely no history of violence. The complete opposite appears to be true. They do have some very strong opinions, but they're not overly coercive, though we didn't really cover the founder. What is Shen Yun really? It's a performance put on by a religious movement and right-wing political group that opposes the Chinese Communist Party. Should you and I go see this show, am I gonna buy tickets? Well, I think I get the idea of Shen Yun, so no. I'm not going. Instead, watch this video about what it's really like in the richest town in America, and ride a fancy driverless taxi while you're there. Should you buy tickets? Kate Blanchett thinks it's exquisitely beautiful, and maybe you will too.